Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh, and I'm here today to review Apple. Guess what? Apple had earnings out just two days ago. No, it was three days ago. The 27th. Actually, it was the night of the 26th, and then it gapped up in the 27th. Open at 104.26.50. This actually helps my Google this week, too, to be honest with you. It helped it these days, the gap up, and it helped the market. And it actually opened at a very weird placement where it was almost a little too much to go long aggressively on the day. So it came down a teeny weeny bit. But I will tell you, this is a good bullish gap, a good gap to go long overall. So if you try to go long this on the day of the gap, you didn't make any money. But I would never, ever short this ever here. And do you see how it held immediately, immediately reversed? The next day, after the gap up, immediately reversed, went over the high of the previous day of the gap down that went red. So the fact this went red didn't, didn't mean this was going to fill the gap or fade in here or do anything. So this is, in effect, a long. And the next target is really 106. 106 right up in here. A little bit before it. 105.75, 106. Fish. Dream target in here could even be 108, 108, 65, 109, depending on how bullish the market is between now and the next couple of weeks. I just got done a video about the overall market saying I think we break out next week, start out of August, and that will definitely help Apple. So this had a good week overall. Uh, the night before the gap, it had closed at 96.67, and it ended up opening not quite $10 higher, but almost, I mean, almost. So, again, I don't read fundamentals, but I do rate gaps, and I look at them to play in the proper direction. So the proper direction in Apple right now is a long, and you can go long the stock. You can go long it and take it up into the rally. And you could do a call on this as an option trade, and you could go long it as a swing trade, and you could have gone long it yesterday as a day trade. didn't really go anywhere as a day trade today, but you see how well it's holding. Very, very nice. Very, very beautiful. So we'll be following this up in here and seeing exactly where Apple goes. And I did make an option call this week for the gap option letter to do a call in this. If you'd like more information on that or sign up for the gap option letter or learn how to trade gaps with me, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Again, I have a gap options letter. If you want to sign up, it's just an alert. You get the alert. You get the email in your inbox and you can just take the train at the moment that I call it, as soon as you're at your platform. <laughs> And then you have to watch it yourself and monitor yourself where you want to take the profit. So this is a ready working, a ready up for those people that did it, but it's not too late to take it. Email me with more information if you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class. Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.